Hey everyone, Pastor George here for today's mailbag. And again, I haven't gotten a mailbag, but luckily for all of you, today I'm in the office. And so I actually uh, wanted to talk about something that I've been asked questions about a lot, which is this flag that I have here behind me. Uh, so it is a flag. Uh, you can't quite see it, but there are like two little holes on the side. It's meant to be flown, but I don't have a place to really to put it and I can't really hang it anywhere besides where I hung it. So I, I put it up behind me because I think it adds a little bit of spice to the room, right? It brings it, brings it all together. Um, and a lot of people have been wondering like, what does this flag mean? Why do you have it there? Isn't that kind of strange? Uh, and so I thought I'd, I thought I'd, uh, describe it or tell you why, why it is what it is and why it's up there. So one, I just thought it kind of looked cool. And, you know, I'm into metal, stuff like that. And so a lot of things that just kind of look cool, I'll, I'll grab, especially if it's, it has some meaning t or something to it. And so I saw this and I was like, well, this is really a, a neato flag. Um, and I can't remember where I got it from, some website that makes like Christian stuff, but a little bit more artistically and, and things. And so I bought this as a, as a Christmas present to myself. And on it, it has the Latin phrase, uh, qui tollis peccata mundi, right? Agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, which means the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. And I brought this up just briefly in my sermon uh, on John, in John, uh, kind of near the beginning of the year. Uh, and this is the phrase that John the Baptist says when he sees Jesus. But as you notice, like, it's not Jesus. And so some people have been wondering kind of what that's all about, right? And so it's a lamb, right? Get it? Agnus Dei, the Lamb of God uh in latin right and so it's the lamb who takes away the sins of the world and the lamb is a common motif in christianity for all sorts of things right sometimes it represents us when it's like jesus holding a lamb right you have the the good shepherd right um lambs are all over the place in the old old testament as well and so it's a very biblical image meant to evoke our relationship with god but you'll notice something special about this lamb is uh one it has a halo and if you're ever in in christian like art, right? You ever go to the Princeton Art Gallery or you go into the Met in New York or something and you see people with halos, you can actually tell who's who, even if they all kind of have beards and look the same, because any depiction of Christ has a halo or usually, you know, in, in typical depictions, he has a halo and in that halo is a cross behind his head. So if you see someone that has a halo and a cross behind it and they all have beards and you might be hard to tell which one, the one with the cross is Jesus. And so this one is is Jesus, right? Because it has a cross in it, but it's also a lamb that has a, a halo. And generally, you're only going to see that if it's if it's talking about Jesus. And I mean that in like 99.9% .9 of cases. So it's Jesus, right? That's that's the Lamb of God, and you can tell that that has the the marks of that because he has the he he's been pierced in the, in the chest area, right? That that's that's a little red spot, and you can't really see it from here, but there's like blood drops coming out of that into the chalice, right? And of course, that represents one Christ being wounded for us, right? As the Paschal Lamb, as the Passover Lamb, taking our punishment for us, right? And it marks that part in, in him that was pierced in the side. So you, you got that part of it. But you also have the, the blood drops pouring into the uh, chalice, right? Into the cup that we use during communion, during the Lord's Supper. And what does Jesus say in that, right? This cup is my blood, right? Shed for you and for the forgiveness of sins. The sign of the sealed in the new covenant, right? So this is all important, like image stuff, and what that's trying to get across, right? Is this is the blood in the cup, and that we drink, you know, of course, metaphorically, Jesus's blood, and remember what he did for us. And the last thing he's carrying is uh, the standard of victory, which is the Roman standard of victory. Of course, this one has the cross on it. Normally, they would have Roman symbols on them, but this is like an old way of christians showing that christ is victorious right what is he victorious over well one through the cross he's victorious over sin right but in his resurrection you'll notice this lamb has been stabbed but is fine right it's not dead in his resurrection he's also victorious over death so i've gotten quite a few uh questions about this and i thought that you know i didn't have anything in the mailbag it'd be a good time to answer and with my computer still out of commission at least i can take this angle better than i could if i had my computer so why not? Uh, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. I'll see you on Sunday for worship. Peace out.